Now for the uh, preparation of gelatin, we are using here gelatin powder. There you can see the distilled water by using beaker, wave machine, and the drying oven. Okay. Now first we have to do is to wait uh, the gelatin powder to 10 grams. We are using here the wave machine, and we will take 10 grams of gelatin powder. You can see that it is almost 10 grams of gelatin here. Now we will put the gelatin into our measuring beaker. There you can see. Now, what we have to do is to put the distilled water here up to the mark of 100 milliliter. So we will prepare a solution having almost 90 milliliter of water and 10 grams of gelatin powder. Here you can see that these are the marks and up to that point this will be regarded as a 10 milliliter. Now, here you can see that it's almost 100 milligram solution with 10 grams of gelatin powder. Now, now our solution is almost ready containing 90 milliliter of water, distilled water and 10 grams of gelatin. Now we will use the stirrer to gently shake the, our solution. Okay, now our solution is ready. Now what we have to do is to put our measuring uh, speaker into the oven. There you can see that it is already maintained at uh, 66 or 65 centigrade temperature. And now we are placing our solution into the drying oven. Now we will closing the door here. And now we will set our temperature to, to almost 150 and wait for 15 to 20 minutes so that the gelatin will be ready. So you can see that it is already set for 150 and it will stabilize to 150 in almost 5 minutes. Okay, now our 20 minutes have has passed. Now we will check whether our gelatin is ready or not. We will open our oven so you can see that. Uh, our gelatin is almost ready. Now we'll uh, bring it out with with the help of this scissor-like gripper. Uh, make precaution that uh, it is very hot. So we will take out this gelatin with the great precautions. Okay. And again, after closing our drawer, we will wait for some time so that our gelatin will cool down. Here you can see that with the help of stirrer that this is almost ready our gelatin. Okay. Now our gelatin is ready for the measurement of its viscosity by using this operators so you can see that which is named as a rheometer. It is also named as a viscometer that measure the viscosity of a fluid along with the torque, shear stress and shear rate. So before uh, start, uh, we will start exper exper our experiment, I will tell you about its instrumentation. Here you can see that in on front side, this is a screen that will display uh, different readings. These are the different functionality based buttons. This is, uh, uh, there you can see there the bubble which is uh, uh, used in leveling our instrument. Here you can see there this is a thermocell which is basically used to heat uh, or uh, uh, heat our fluid and measure its viscosity at different temperature. 
this is the temperature control device which is connected which is connected to the thermostat and here we have LV spindle set I'm going to open it here you can see there these are the different types of spindles having different diameter uh, uh, in our experiment we are using this LV27 spindle for measuring the viscosity of our fluid uh, here I am going to tell you one more important thing that uh, the spindle diameter have a, has an inverse relation with the viscosity of a fluid here you can see that the, his, its diameter is uh, big so it is, used, uh, it is used mostly for the measurement of viscosity of the water and there you can see that for our fluid which is, most, uh, which is basically a gelatin for which we are using this LB27 spindle number. So after this uh, one thing more I want to tell you that this is there you can see that this is the adjustable stand when we move it clockwise the motor moves up and vice versa there you can see that in anti-clockwise direction it will move down. Now I'm going to perform our experiment. So here I have a turned on the machine. There you can see on the screen that the uh, machine is allowing us to perform uh, operation uh, on two modes. There you can see that the first mode is the external control mode which is a software con based control mode and the second one is the stand alone mode which is uh, uh, choose by us because we are um, performing our experiment manually so I'm here press the second option and then again press the enter then the machine is showing us the precaution that uh, either the spindle is already removed so we, we can see here that the spindle is already removed there is, this is the nozzle of the motor and the second precaution that either the rear meter is level or not we can see our uh, apparatus is level or not by using this bubble type mirroring device there you can see that the bubble is at the center so our apparatus is already level now for the third precaution to auto zero the motor we will press this function button which is motor on off button and when we will press it the review meter is set on zero position okay now auto zero is complete there you can see that you place spindle and press any key we will uh, now place the spindle now our spindle holder is fixed now we will place our spindle lb27 okay now we will move up our motor with the help of this adjustable stand there you can see and after this we will place our gelatin make sure that you should dip the uh, spindle LV27 up to that point where the curve is just about to end there you can see okay I'm gonna now turn it down and one thing more that your spindle should be at the center of the beaker you can see that now after setting okay. all this uh, spindle and uh, making sure that all thing is good 
we will press here you can see that press any key we will press here one any key you can see now you can see that this is a uh, motor on off uh, this screen is displaying either the motor is off and on there you can see that the spindle uh, number is showing here here this temperature is shown and top okay first of all what we have to do is to select the spindle here with the help of this button you can see that I'm going to press it there you can see that enter spindle number as we are using spindle LV27 so we will press 27 here and then again press enter now our uh, our spindle is set to 27 now we will turn on okay, our before motor. turning on the motor I will gonna fix my RPM first uh, we will take 50 RPM here I'm going to press 50 here and then press enter here you can see after pressing enter we will turn on our machine and now the spindle is about to move with an RPM of 50 okay now the machine has got maintained his its RPM now we will see here uh, the uh, torque in percentage here you can see there the deviating values of torque after this we will press the select button to check its viscosity there you can see that this is a select display button we will press it and after pressing it uh, the machine is now showing us the deviating values of viscosity in centipars again after pressing the same select display button now the machine is showing us the deviating value of shear stress in dyne per centimeter square and at the end again we will press the select display button and this time it shows the value of shear rate which is 17 per second there you can see okay again uh, we will press the select button now we are again moved to our home screen there what we have to do is to turn off the motor I'm going to turn off the motor and now I will set uh, my RPM to now this time 200 and then again press we will, we will entry I will again turn on the machine you can see that now this time the spindle is about to move with the RPM of 100 uh, after wait for some time so that the motor gain its maintain its RPM I will gonna check we will uh, see here the deviating value of torque in percentage again we will perform the same experiment that we will again press the select display button now this time we are showing the viscosity with the deviating value again in centipars you can see that after again pressing it will show us value of shear stress at uh, 100 rpm and again after pressing it will show us as the shear rate which is now moved to 34 uh, per second there you can see that uh, when we are uh, rotating our spindle to 50 rpm the shear rate was 17 now we are uh, rotating our spindle to 100 rpm now you, you can see that the shear rate is almost double so the, there you can see that the rpm has a direct relation with the shear rate and all of these okay after again select display button we will again move to our, our home screen and uh, again we will uh, check our uh, viscosity shear stress torque or shear strain at different values of rpm thank you very much okay i'm again turn off the machine